checking out Zang Radio. I love Zang Radio. I love Zang Radio. I'm not even lying. Sundays at 8 o'clock is designated to oh, Victorious. Yeah. Woohoo! Yeah. We love dude, it. Dude, I love it. Everyone, show. better watch. <laughs> dude, your character, Kat, is so funny as well. I love her. I love her so much. Tell me. You kind of, see? She kind of <laughs> sounds, you, yeah. Dude, I'm telling you. Tell we me about Kat. Because I know about Kat, but people might, might not know about her. Okay, well, Kat is, she's very fun-loving and free-spirited, and she loves to have fun and make friends, even if it's like an old man in an elevator who's like 80 years old, and he's like, has little glasses. I don't know. She like loves people. <laughs> and, um, you know, for those of you who have been watching like the beginning of the season she's kind of like borderline dumb Mm -hmm. but as (laughs) but as the season goes on you like you know there's different layers that like reveal and she's she's kind of you just realize that she just lives in her head she Uh lives in this world that's just like magical and filled with fairies and like (laughs) i'm like like, cupcakes dude i have no problem with fairies and cupcakes they are both really good good times Yeah. yeah it's a good time but you know she would just she could be really intelligent and like witty and present in conversation if she wanted to but Mm -hmm. I feel like she's just having way too much fun in her head. And, yeah. you know, hopefully that shows. It's fun. I, I, love, I love this it. show. Yeah. Well, and, uh, it must be an honor because it's breaking all these records for, like, yeah. kids programming. It, it looks it's like Dan really Schneider cool. ha- has another hit. Like, he has another one to add under his belt, man. Yeah, he's a, he's amazing. He's a genius. And I feel like like I grew up watching all of his shows. It's like, okay, I love this story. And it's like his favorite story. Okay, so when I was four years old, I mm-hmm. called 411 at four. I called 411. I literally, I dial. And I was like, I need to speak to, I need to, speak to Nickelodeon Studios in Orlando. <laughs> Please, I need to speak to Nickelodeon. And they're like, okay, so they connect me. And I'm like four years old. And I said to the lady, I was like, I want to be on all that. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, someday, sweetheart, someday. And now Aww. I'm working with Dan Schneider. See? That's awesome. So it's like a dream come true. I've always wanted this. Now tell me, did you ever think it was like going to happen? Like, like, um, What was the feeling like when you're like, you're going to be on the next big hit? It really is. It's the next big hit on Nickelodeon. <laughs> it was like really surreal, especially because Dan called me to tell me that I got the role. Mm-hmm. And so that was just like completely unreal i mean i had like a lot of screen tests for uh-huh. this role and it was totally insane and i like every like callback and every screen test i just got more and more in love with the character and i was just like oh my god please 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 and then finally i was i was with my agent and we were in a room just waiting around the phone just sitting there like literally just doing like tribal dances like waiting <laughs> for it to, to like call and finally it rang and i was like hi he's like hi i was like who's this he's like this is dan schneider i was like Hello, nice to speak to you. And he was like, so, what's up? I was like, nothing. (laughs) Nothing. And he was like, so do you want to play cat? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, let's do it. And then we like just all had a party. It was so much fun. But you're a musical girl, right? Because I was reading your tweets. You're doing all this stuff. Yeah. You're in New York City. I love going to Broadway shows and seeing Broadway shows. I'm doing a new show, reading of a new show next week, which is exciting. But yeah, I love musicals and I love Broadway. Okay. We got Elizabeth on the phone. Hi, Elizabeth. How are you? Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. Hi. Do you have a question for Ariana? Um, I just wanted to talk to her. Okay. Oh, hi, uh... Elizabeth. (laughs) Hi. How are you? (laughs) Oh my God. Uh, Elizabeth, you just started this conversation off to an awkward start. <laughs> you must regain yourself. Do you have a question? She's so cute. Regain. Go. Go. I'm going to give you... Come on. Come on. You can do it, Elizabeth. Oh, I'm just so happy I'm talking to her. Oh, oh, my gosh. I'm so happy I'm talking to you. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi. I know your friend Courtney from Florida. She's like one of my really good friends. Courtney Chipalone? Yeah. I grew up with that kid. Oh, my God. We're reconnecting people. Oh, my gosh. I love Courtney. <laughs> you I have look- to say hi. Do you go to school with her? Yeah. Oh my gosh, then you must tell her that I say hi. Even though I could tell her because we're Facebook friends. But, you know, it's cool this way because it's on the radio. <laughs> hi, Courtney. <laughs> and it's telling us how she has your number and stuff and she won't give it to us. Oh my, oh god. my god. Well, that, well that's creepy. <laughs> At least she's a good friend and she's not spreading that around. <laughs> well, uh, Elizabeth, you're a good girl. I love you. <laughs> I love you, Elizabeth. I love you too. Bye, Elizabeth. Thank you. Nice talking to you. Nice talking to you too. Bye. Bye. Look at that, oh Courtney. God. That's so random. Do you get that? All, do you get that a lot? Where people call up and they're like, "I know you from fourth grade." Yeah. 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 They just come out. Of the, <laughs> we have someone on the the phone here, Rachel. Uh, how are you, Rachel? Good. Hi. What's your question? Um, it's my friend's birthday, and I was wondering if Ariana could say happy birthday to her. What's your friend's name? 
Mary Kate. <gasps> Mary Kate, happy birthday, Mary Kate. I hope it's a wonderful birthday. How old is Mary Kate? Fifteen. <gasps> fifteen? Wait, fifteen or sixteen? Fifteen. Fifteen. <gasps> That's a really exciting birthday. Happy fifteenth <laughs> birthday, Mary Kate. <laughs> Look at that. Rachel, anything else? Well, she's not there, but I hope you can hear this, Mary Kate. <laughs> <laughs> Wherever you are in the world. She couldn't handle the excitement. <laughs> no. ah! Right? Oh my gosh. It's not even right. a good one like clowns. Do you want the you don't like clowns? I'm okay with them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with them. Have you would I have them in my in my room? When I was trying to go to sleep, no, I wouldn't. No. I wouldn't have a painting of a clown or pow- like a poster That's or anything. That's creepy. That, no. My grandma used to have one. I was so freaked out by it. <laughs> oh my God, it was creepy. It was like one of those old lady things. Oh my God, wait, someone I know has literally just a life-size stuffed clown like standing in their house. I forget who it is or where I saw it. Maybe it's not even a person. Maybe it's just a place or like a hotel or something. But I saw it and it was there and it was real and it was Frightening. That's so creepy. That's creepy. If it makes noises, <sighs> that would just be the worst thing ever. Oh my god, I'm freaked out right now just thinking about it. I think ET is scarier than clowns, though. ET? Oh, yeah. I don't think ET is that like e. scary. ET e. kind of looks like he's so you know his his personality, his voice, very cute, <laughs> very cute. It's very cute. The message is very sweet. I have to say, but like <laughs> just looking at him, it's a it's a challenge for me. Yeah, I don't know you, why. You don't want to hug him. You He's don't a little slimy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He's a little. He's he, he's a cutie. The thing that, yeah. that scared me is when he's like kind of under the bridge, like waiting for mm-hmm. like Elliot to come and rescue him, and he's all yeah. like dry and like he's dying and so sad. That wow. that kind of did me in. Yeah, that Aww. was my last like heartfelt moment. I was like, I'm scared now. This can, is now I I can't watch this. Anymore. You know, I have a question for Craig <laughs> with the, the ET. You can impersonate people. Can you impersonate uh, ET? Uh, I've actually never seen E.T. What? So, Craig. What, is he, what, is what he kind of like? American are you? Leave. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Every you American's cry, seen Craig. E.T. Aww. Have you seen E.T., Vicky Paparazzi? Even Vicky Paparazzi's seen E.T. Very nice. Thank you. Have you? I've seen it. Thank you. Oh, wait. No, I know what scared me. Okay. So what? I know what scared me. At my like third birthday party, uh-huh. uh, my mom hired somebody to be E.T. at my party because I no liked way. him at the time. Oh, my God. And it was literally... E.T., how, how big is E.T.? Like four He's, feet? Yeah. yeah He's like a little, little, little shorty. He is a little guy. Literally a, <laughs> a six foot man oh in like God. this floppy costume just comes and like the, the head is like detached. You can totally see everything. It was, it was mortifying. Next time you come, I'll have Craig dress up as an E.T. for you. He's, okay. he's shorter than six feet, so he'll look a little bit more realistic. Yeah, yeah. that's a little better. Yeah, <laughs> and you can hug him because he won't be slimy. Maybe, maybe we'll all get over. I can't years. guarantee yeah. the no slime. <laughs> yeah. I might be very slimy that day. Really? Um, I'm a really big fan of Victorious. Um, Thank and, you. And my question was, um, why did you decide to dye your hair like that pinkish color? Like, I know why you had to dye your hair, but why did you decide on that color? Well, um, actually, Dan Schneider picked it for me, and um, he decided that Kat loves red velvet cupcakes, and it was kind of his, you know, like, his artistic vision for my character, mm-hmm. and I love it, and I think I can't really picture Kat with any other color. I don't think it would fit for if she had, like, purple hair or anything. I think this was, like, kind of dead on. I love your hair. Thank yeah, you. It's, it's awesome. Thank it you. Kat loves it, too. I think it's, it's a really good choice for her character. One thing I ask everyone... Uh, who's on Nickelodeon, is the big thing is, what was that one Nickelodeon show that you just love, that you always loved? Like, growing up? Yeah. Uh, Rugrats. Rugrats. That's mm, a good show. That's a, I never got that answer. Rugrats and all that were, like, Ooh, uh, to right. me. You wanted to be on all that. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, good choices. Yeah. Yeah. Rugrat all grown up, I was a little skeptical. Also, I loved the Thornberries. Eliza Thornberry? Hey, it's me. I'm Eliza Thornberry. Oh, my Part God. Part of your average family. I've got a mom, a dad, and a sister. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's Donnie. We found him. And Darwin, he found us. <laughs> I could go on, but that'd be really embarrassing, so I don't want to do You're that. You're my hero right now. You have, <laughs> you have no clue. My friend, seriously, thank you so Woo! much for stopping Thanks by. for having me. I yeah. love it. Tube Radio. You're checking out Sang Radio. You're checking out Sang Radio. Search us on Facebook and Twitter.